Hey good people, it is Tishara from Politics and Fashion here with a big ass bottle of water. We about to get this thing started right. One second. If you know anything from Vlogmas, then you know that I am trying to kickstart some wellness habits despite the bender that I was on in Miami over the weekend, but that's okay. Uh, we fall down, but we we get up. A saint is just a sinner who fell down and got up. And so it's up and it's stuck because I am in LA today, as you saw from the title of the vlog, filming for Access Hollywood. I will be their style expert once again on an episode, this time all about what trends we are taking into 2023. I'm so excited. This will be my second time on the show. The first time I didn't vlog because I was just too nervous. I'll be honest with you. I could not pull myself together to even be on camera to vlog. Like I had to focus on the thing. So this time I'm still nervous. Woke up, still had a bunch of anxiety, but I'm pushing through. You know, had a quick phone call this morning, got my affirmations in. And my friend was like, look, you've done harder things. You've done harder things. You know fashion like the back of your hand. When you take the show, it's not live. Chill out. Take your meds, hit the vape pen, you'll be fine. And I'm just such a perfectionist. I don't know if anyone else is like that. Even when you know you got it, you still want to show up and you want to show out and you want to impress. And so I've just got to work on showing myself some grace. Got up, uh, like I said, was full of anxiety, made the bed, did some journaling, checked off my tasks in my 21 Day Happiness Project, which I'll tell you about in just a bit, um, and repeated some affirmations, did some meditation, started my journaling. I actually feel a lot, lot better. What I'm going to do right now, though, is go out, get some coffee, sit down, finish my journaling and my planning, and hopefully that will settle my nerves as I review my script or my lines for the day. You don't really have like a script that you have to memorize, um, but they do obviously outline the show with certain talking points that I need to hit. So I just want to make sure that I am on target for those things. Uh, it is 8.17, much later for me, obviously, because I'm still on East Coast time, but I got in last night so late, y'all, like I just slept. I, slept. I had a call. I, I didn't even make it um, because I arrived at like 5 a.m. my time. So it's actually surprising um, that I didn't sleep for a little bit longer. But alas, we are up. Um, like I said, I'm going to go and get some coffee, do my thing. And then when I come back, before I go to the show, I'll tell you all about the 21 Day Happiness Project. If you were not hip, it is a project and a toolkit that I started while healing from surgery. And January 9th through 30th is our 21 Day Project. And so you are watching this right in the middle of it. And I want to tell you all about it. Let's go grab some coffee, though. I am in desperate need for caffeine. <laughs> I love that the Airbnb has a full length mirror. So I'll show you my OOTD really quickly. Do a tour when I get back of the Airbnb. Uh, but I am wearing my Fendi Sunnies black cashmere sweater that came from Bloomingdale's. The necklace is Nature the Label, a black owned brand. Bottega moto jacket. It is cropped. I have the sweater tucked halfway. Uh, I am wearing my Margiela MM6 jeans. On my feet are my Jordans. Bag is the Bottega. Um, this is not a Bottega. The bag is a little wave, a puzzle bag. And let me just say this bag is so great to travel with because I put it in side of my travel like personal item and so that way I kind of sneak two personal items in on the trip but this is the look for coffee it's probably pretty dark in here let's get out
I am back, had a very delicious breakfast just down at the bottom of the hill. I'm staying in the Hollywood Hills area, specifically the area is called Laurel Canyon. And I was gonna walk to a restaurant called Crave. It was about a 30 minute walk. And I was like, the way this hill is set up, I don't know that I'm gonna be able to do it. But I'm gonna try, cause I wanna try to close my exercise ring. I just got um, an Apple Watch around Christmas time. And so as the hill was declining, I thought to myself, I'm gonna have to walk back up this hill. And so, you know, he's ramming a bush, got to the bottom of the hill, and I saw this cute little market that also had a cafe, popped in there, got my coffee. The coffee had ginger, cardamom, and cinnamon in it. It was an oat milk latte, it was so good. Um, I had them to put just one shot of hazelnut in it to sweeten it a little bit. It was delicious, I'm gonna try that at home, actually. But the neighborhood is super cute, y'all. This definitely is where I'm going to be staying when I come back to the area, if it is available. It's actually the um, guest house. And you come in through a separate entrance. Uh, there's a really, really beautiful, like, uh, courtyard patio area. It has turf, and so it's super green. Um, some very beautiful tiled stairs up the right-hand side. They have a picnic table out here, as well as two lawn chairs. So just a really great place to just lounge. It's supposed to rain, like, 100% chance of rain tomorrow. So after the show today, if I can, I want to sit out there and just read a little bit, probably drink a little bit of wine. Uh, when you come inside, you have a, looks to be about a full, size bed uh the area is white minimal super clean and just a nice chic aesthetic there's a desk here which i love i'm gonna pop up my computer now and do a little bit of work they have a keurig machine also a fridge open the fridge and i had a bottle of water um a coke sparkling water as well as two like alcoholic beverages which i was like oh that's very sweet and thoughtful uh and then we have like a little small rack to hang your clothes which i've done um and put some other pieces on the bathroom is a great size and what i love is that there is a full size mirror i cannot tell you the number of hotels and airbnbs i've stayed at over the past year that have not had a full size mirror and i'm like this is savagery i don't like you're basically saying you want me dead if, if there's no full size mirror in the in the in the accommodations um and so that's been great and now it is 10 21 i am gonna leave here probably at noon on the dot uh call my uber and then head over to universal studios which is where access hollywood is filmed and so i will take you with me obviously but what i think is so dope is that i don't think i ever realized that universal studios was actually a place i'm from florida and so i thought it was just a theme park <laughs> and the last time when I got there, I was like, oh, uh, so that's dope. Um, and uh, yeah, it is a real like set, a real life set. And it is just mind blowing to think that I'm going to be able to be there again today. Let me get a little bit of work done and then we are off to access Hollywood. So I've made it to Universal Studios, to the Access Hollywood studio. The first thing you have to do when you come in is take a PCR test. So I went, took that, I'll have the results back in about 30 minutes. And so they put me in my dressing room. Yes, <laughs> she has a dressing room. Uh, there's actually a shower in here, which I find so interesting, as well as a bathroom. It's a fridge, some bottled water. It's a place here to do my makeup if I wanted to, but I think I'm gonna have my makeup up done today I brought mine just in case uh, last time I was here though they did a phenomenal job so I feel like I'm in good hands um, I'm gonna actually ask them to go for a much bolder and brighter eye uh, and a nude lip and let me show you why because I am going to wear some color today I have this dress by ALC it needs to be steamed so I'm gonna ask for a steamer so I can steam the bottom of it um I grabbed this from a rent the runway y'all I have been doing rent the runway um because I am filming so much this is my second time on access Hollywood I also film like nine or more episodes for my podcast each season second season is coming back soon I'm actually going in just a few days actually I land in the morning from LA and at 1 p.m. that same day, I fly to Boston to film the podcast. <laughs> um, and so 
I like to have obviously pieces that pop, pieces that are gonna come across well on camera. And my wardrobe has some great essentials and pieces that I love. However, over time, I mean, I need more pieces. And so I decided to do Rent the Runway because it was the best investment. Y'all always know I'm talking about shopping with intention, conscious consumption. Overall, I'm just not trying to blow a bag on clothes that I'm probably going to wear one time. And Rent the Runway back in the day, maybe it's just me, I felt like they didn't have great pieces. When they first started off, I wasn't impressed. Um, but now they have some bomb pieces. And so I'm probably going to also pull some pieces from them for New York Fashion Week. Um, so if you see me tag and rent the runway along the way, you will know why. In the meantime, I brought a book. So I'm just going to sit here, relax, run through my lines once again. I don't want to over prepare because that's when you start to mess things up. Like I know what I'm going to say. I know fashion like the back of my hand. I just, you know, want to make sure that I am on point. And I'll try to get a little bit of behind the scenes when they're doing my makeup and also when we go on set. how natural it looks I think the lip is perfect and I said I wanted a bold eye so we did a little bit of a green like winged eye that she then um traced in black which I think is so cool feel like I want a bolder lash so I'm about to pop lashes on and then do a little bit more of a highlight on my nose and the top of my cheeks but good job all right final makeup look and I'm going back and forth about earrings i am typically as y'all know a very like bold earring jewelry person but i almost feel like doing something different let me put on my other earrings so i can compare nah i gotta stick with what i know <laughs> i gotta go for the drop earrings all right especially because i feel like the dress the color is bold but i'm not really heavily accessorized anywhere else so we gotta go for bold earrings I am going to just chill out in my fitting room until they call me for the show. Girl, the level of ash that has taken over my legs. I cannot believe I have come to these people's show and don't have a nail bit of lotion. Girl, do you see this? I spent so much time like stressed and going over my lines in my head and just and then when you get there and the lights are on and the camera people and Kit is so so nice and we're just like chit-chatting about the Golden Globes and all these things and then I'm like this is what I was born to do I spent all this time being nervous and it's really just fear and imposter syndrome right because as soon as they said it's go time I open my mouth and I just talked about the thing that I love. And so I think there's a message here about what it means to just truly glide in your purpose. If you know that thing is what you were supposed to be doing, why spend time in the negative self-talk, right? This That's the moment where you could choose something different. So I just gotta choose something different. Um, Kit is so teeny tiny. I will pop up a picture here. I cannot believe how small she is compared to me. I'm literally a whole foot taller than her. But the entire show was amazing. It was a lot of fun. The mannequins came together. I styled the mannequins. I pick all the clothes. The producer orders them. And I felt like things really, really came together for the trends that we talked about taking into the new year. So... I'm gonna change my clothes. I'm going to go and get me something good to eat. 
maybe get my nails done, maybe shop. I don't know. Let's just float around the city. And tomorrow I don't leave until late tonight. So we got some time to spend in LA together. Let's go get it. Black man. Yeah. Uh. Black man. Black man. Yeah. What's up? Black, black, a black man. Yeah. Uh, what up? Black, <laughs> black man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm proud of you, brother man. Even when you fail, you find another plan. They cut it off and you say you got another hand. They cut it off and you say you got another leg. Man, running a quick sprint. They tell you that you can't do it, you say get bent. You about to pitch a tent. You about to build a fort. You about to get a brick. Other dudes did it slow and you did it quick. Other dudes did it foul. You did it legit. You be getting funky on them suckers. I'm feeling the scent. Oh, let it air out. Give them the vent. Everybody want to see you fail. They feeling the burn. You tell them it's your turn. You been on it for a minute. This is your earn. You been on it for a minute. This is your score. Keep your mind on the grind and your money in the floorboards. <laughs> uh, a black man. you did this all night black man i see you in a tight space and they wonder why you always got a straight face black man i see you with the gold grill big chains big rims on the old whip that is so ill go ahead black man i want to see you win with that ill black tan my brother my keeper this is for my people i ain't got an ego my g because i see you listen and believe me my g hey, we need you to feed all the people the knowledge that they seeking Black man, Egyptian, and African, you ain't even know that, hmm. don't forget you got a throne, brother, I rock with you, you ain't never on your own, brother, I love you, uh, a black man, yeah, uh, a black man, yeah. Good morning, good people. It is Saturday. Last night you saw me at Catch. Uh, let me just say that if you were from this area, then you probably already know this. Uh, but as someone who is visiting LA, I do believe Catch is a bit of a tourist trap. <laughs> it's a thirst trap at the very least. Ambiance is impeccable. It's absolutely amazing. But I felt like I've had better for less. So y'all drop down in the comments and let me know what is the best restaurant. Doesn't have to be super fine dining, but if you want to treat yourself, where would you go in LA? Let me know. Um, and despite that, however, I brought a couple things home. I had a whole bunch of fish, girl. <laughs> some kale salad. I don't even know. The highlight for me was the um, matcha detox. So it was like a cucumber matcha cocktail. And I love when a cocktail is healthy. I love when it's healthy. So that was really, really good. And I brought some leftovers home, which I will have today for lunch. But right now I am craving a mimosa, something terrible. I thought about walking down the hill again and just going to get some champagne. Um, and uh, I ain't going to be able to do it. Not because walking down the hill is a problem, because walking back up the hill is a problem. And before I take an Uber down and back, I might as well just go someplace to have a mimosa. You feel me? Um, so I'm going to hit up a breakfast spot. I am going to read a bit. I grabbed The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. I read her first book, Mothers. I didn't love it, but it, that was more about the plot. The character development was fine. So this has really been highly acclaimed. So let's see what I think about this one. Um, and I also said I was going to talk to you all about the 21 Day Happiness Project. 
I created the 21 Day Happiness Project while healing from my hysterectomy. I read Gretchen Rubin's book, The Happiness Project. I thought that her principles were amazing, but I was not a wealthy white woman living in the Upper East Side in New York. And unlike Gretchen, I did not have a year to dedicate to my wellness. And if you've read that book, you know that each month she dedicates herself to a different facet of her happiness. And what I love about her is that she said she wasn't unhappy. She just felt like she had all of these things in life and she could show greater gratitude and be happier. And so while healing from the hysterectomy, I felt like it would have been really easy for me to go into a slump. I was young. I didn't have any children. Um, and to uh, have tried to save my uterus over and over again and not have it work and ultimately have the doctor say, we can end all of the pain now if we just do the hysterectomy was one of the biggest blows that I had ever experienced. And so um, I'm someone who is definitely a seeker. I seek knowledge. I feel like there's nothing that I can't figure out. I just got to have the key, right? And so one of the keys for me was finding Gretchen's work, but I knew that it was a bit too comprehensive. And so I took some of her principles, truncated them down and created the 21 Day Happiness Project. And some of that goes into that science that says it takes X amount of days to create a habit. And my goal, is really for us to think about free and low cost ways that we can pour into ourselves. It's not about our children, not about our spouses, not about our jobs, into ourselves that truly bring us joy. And I've taught this. I have a toolkit that's available for download that I'll link down below. I've had workshops. I've spoken at conferences. And there's one thing that remains true throughout it all. And that is that too often when we ask people, women and femmes especially, what brings them joy, they cannot state what brings them joy specifically. Um, they can say what makes their kids happy. They can say what makes their husband or their partners happy, but they can't say what brings them joy. Again, something that is a low barrier investment. Is it just painting your nails? Is it giving yourself a facial? Is it reading? Is it watching Netflix all day uninterrupted, right? What are 21 things that bring you joy? And so for me, I actually printed the toolkit this year. It is a digital download, but I printed it this year because I wanted to be able to actually see it. And as I was leading the project, it started on January 9th, by the way, and we've been talking about it in the private community and also a little bit on social media. But I printed mine because I wanted to make sure that I had a visual representation to be reminded daily of my happiness tasks. And so the toolkit starts with the table of contents, a little bit about me, why happiness is so important. It says happiness is more than just a positive mood. It's a state of well-being. It has the steps that you take, the happiness planner, it's all my list of 21 things. Sample affirmations. I believe affirmations are great ways to guide the practice. And then here is what you want to guide you for the week. Um, my entire kind of and here is your guide for the week. You have three of these. For me, I think we make plans for so many things. We plan to get the refrigerator maintenance. We plan to take our kids to soccer practice. We plan to be in the carpool line. But we don't plan around our, our self-care and our well-being. And that's why I think it so often takes a back seat, especially when you're busy. I mean, everyone has careers, jobs, lives, parents, kids, the whole thing, right? Every single day we are inundated with our needs and with the needs of someone else. But what about those small things that really can pay great dividends in the future? And so planning for that, I think, is so, so important. And so I have my affirmation, which is rest is my right for the week. My goal was good sleep hygiene and a good morning routine. My happiness to-do list was to travel, read a new book, facial, eat good food, create new outfits, have some alone time, and to film Access Hollywood, which I did. And I've done actually everything on this list already, except reading my book, which I'm going to do today during breakfast. And then the toolkit goes on. It has a bit of an audit for you after the first week. We have some journal prompts here just to be able to sit in reflection each week or at the end of the project. And that is it. We're using hashtag 21 days to joy. So 
feel free to jump into the conversation. If you join the Politics and Fashion Tribe, you get the toolkit for free. No, it is not too late to join. And if you don't want to join the Politics and Fashion Tribe, which is 15 bucks a month, then you can always go over to my shop and you can download the toolkit for $21. It comes straight to your email. And again, you can print it if you would like. Even if you do not do the project with us in concert with the tribe as we're doing it, I highly recommend this as a way for you just to kickstart your 2023. All right, so let's get out of here. Let me show you what I am wearing today. Yesterday, you would have saw me down at the real, real. I love that place. I love that place. And I swear to y'all, the one out here, Melrose, hands down the best I've ever been to. So uh, she's Preciana. Thirsty. Okay, so let me show you what I got. I grabbed this Dior kimono. I feel like I'm not doing it justice today, so I'm actually not gonna wear it, but I was pressed to at least slip it on, okay? Uh, I have looked for this to see which runway show it came from. I cannot find it. I started back in 2018, so maybe it's before that, but get into uh, just the fabric. Oh my gosh. It is made from majority silk, and just the weaving on this is fantastic. It is black with yellow, orange and blue, as you can see. The best part of it is the back of it, though, to be honest with you. I don't even know how to show it to you, but the back is completely, like, split. Oh, my God, it's so good. It's going to be so good belted, too. The only belt I have is my Hermes belt, and this one is brown. And so I felt like I couldn't really put that on top of this to really give it a look. But when I belt it, it kind of sits out. Oh, my God, it's so good. And it's super duper warm, too. Y'all know I love me a good old third layer. For me, these are the kind of pieces that really help to, like, make your basics pop. And so when I saw this, I had to have it. This thing originally, y'all, was $4 thousand dollars US and there was no way I was going to do that or I would have ever done it uh, and then when I got to the real real it still had the tag on it and it was for nine hundred dollars and I was like okay investment but it's a piece I'll have forever bro bro scanned that thing and he was like well actually it's on sale 25 percent off so then it goes down to 600 and he was like give me a new email address and i'll give you the extra 25 dollars off i said sir take this card you ain't gotta convince me that's the look uh wearing the margella jeans again just because it's like 60 degrees outside um and so i wish i would have brought like a pair of sweatpants but i didn't so we are wearing the jeans again today i'm actually probably gonna slip on my um muddle jacket on top of this is just an aritzia bandeau top and then put back on my jordans and then head out to brunch breakfast we'll see what i get into So I have gone to uh, brunch. I had some croissant French toast and a strawberry mimosa and an oat milk latte. It was absolutely delicious. I'm now looking at this restaurant advertised here that I might slip into for lunch. But I don't know, I have food back at the Airbnb, so we'll see. But I left there, I went and I got my nails done at the Lanny Nail Bar. I put the name on the screen so you would have seen the location 
on Sunset. Super cute, young, vibrant, hip staff. And so when I saw that, I was like, let me try a little bit of a design. I don't know if you can see it because I typically go nude on my nails, but I got like a design in a darker nude. Anyway, I decided to hop over at, to the Staples Center because it's raining and it's not a whole lot to do. It's either shopping or a museum. We decided to do a little bit more shopping. So they have a Webster here and I really want to go there. The only other one I know of is in New York. I mean, in Miami. And then on my way here, I saw that there is a Dries Van Noten right down the road. I wish it wasn't raining because I could just walk there, but I'll probably hop in an Uber. Nevertheless, let's do a spin around the Staples Center. Maybe we'll stop and get a cocktail or a little appetizer. We'll head to Dries and then back to the Airbnb. Let's go. <laughs> oh, this smells good. I've never smelled this before. This uh, MFK Satin Mood. Oh, this smells good. The low way bag. Doing a whole. Yes. I actually think I like this more than the 724. Are you serious? $730. I don't believe this is $130. Are you serious? And then the man, you should get the man's one too. I actually like the man's one for women. It's good. You know what it is? It's one that you throw on. It's not, you're not doing a lot that day. You see what I mean? You know, but you just want a sense, but you know, it's still something that's not overpowering. Maybe you're even on vacation with this. Yeah, right. You know? You're just like out and about doing your thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably why I'm drawn to it. So I am in the Uber. Uh, did not make it to Dries because I got caught up at the Webster, grabbed something for Fashion Week, and I was like, you know what? I gotta respect myself. We put myself on ice. <laughs> got two amazing pieces this trip that's all i need uh so i am now headed back to the airbnb where i'm gonna chill out until i leave i'm gonna head out to the airport early because this weather is trash la traffic is already bad enough um so that brings us to the end of the trip thank you so much for rocking with me all throughout the la trip and access hollywood segment i'll make sure i leave in the description box when it will be airing because i'm sure i won't know by the time this video goes live which i'm hoping is going to be tomorrow today is saturday so you should be viewing this on sunday anything that i'm wearing or i mentioned will also be linked in the meantime Make sure you are following me all across the internet. So you're listening to my podcast, Justice, which will be back very soon for its second season. And I will see you good people across the internet. Peace. <laughs>